looking around, guess what? New Year's right around the corner. And I have to keep on thinking of new ideas. So guess what I have under here? This is awesome. I did this at a lot of parties and it turned out awesome and people went nuts for it. The only problem I couldn't get enough. Try to guess what this is. Every year when I was in Canada, go down to Florida, down to this big, you know, theme park and they had this big mouse there. Sorry, because of copyright issues, I can't mention the name. And they had this big, big mouse and the mouse had a girlfriend. And people were walking around eating something all the time. It was huge and big and it was smoking. It was delicious. What was it? I'll tell you right now. It was turkey legs. Yes, turkey legs. Absolutely awesome. And I'm going to make three here. For my party, I'm going to make maybe, what, 15, 16. We'll see how it goes. Now, you can get these anywhere at any supermarket. And the only thing I did to them was I washed them, cleaned them, and I just removed the skin from there to here. Just take a pair of, you know, your kitchen scissors and just snip, 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 and that's easy. But the turkey meat is sometimes a little bit tough, so we have to prepare it and get it ready. So this is what we're going to do. Okay, what I want you to do now is I just want you to fill it about one third of the way to the top, like that. And I want you to add just a little bit less than a quarter cup of salt. Now this will do about four to five um, turkey legs, but since I'm only doing three, so this will work out just fine. And about three tablespoons of brown sugar. And about a tablespoon of HP sauce or Worcestershire sauce or maggie. And now I want you to keep on stirring this until it all dissolves. Now the reason we're doing this is because it will soften up the turkey meat and will give it a nice salty taste to it. Now I call this soaking the turkey. You can call it brine or whatever you want, but that's what I call it. Okay, now I want you to grab your turkey legs and place them in like this. And like that, and the other one like this. There we go. And now, what I want you to do is just add more water that covers all of the turkey legs, just like that. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover this with plastic. I'm going to put it in my refrigerator, and I'm going to leave it for 24 hours. You could do it for 10, I do it for 24. Okay now, what I want you to do is grab yourself a small little bowl, just like that. And I want you to take some plain white rice and I just want you to put that on the bottom like this. I want you to take some sugar and I just want you to add about half a teaspoon. What is this he's creating here? And I want you to take some cooking oil and I want you to put it about a tablespoon just like that and now grab your stir and incorporate all the rice the oil and the sugar just like that now you're wondering what is this guy doing with this he's making turkey legs ah a surprise you'll see when I get ready to bake the turkey legs so put that away and I will see you guys tomorrow. Okay, welcome back to my kitchen. It's been 24 hours. I hope that everybody had a nice rest and ready to start this beautiful recipe. So, here it is. It has been in this water and salt solution for about 24 hours. So, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this out, I'm gonna rinse it, and I'm gonna pat it dry. Okay, so, but now, take that out. Before that, I want you to grab one of these handy dandy mortars, like this. Now, if you don't have this, why don't you get yourself a bowl like this and a spoon, okay? Which will basically almost do the same. And I want you to grab one cube of chicken stock. And I want you to put that in there. And I want basically one tablespoon of olive oil per chicken leg. And we put that in there. 
Now you take your handy dandy thing and I want you to smash this all around until it dissolves right all the way into the oil. So this is going to take a couple of minutes so I shall be back. Okay and I'm back and it's done and this is what we want. So put this to the side. Okay grab yourself a roasting pan and I want you to get some foil wrap and just go about the right measurement like that and I just want you to put that in like that. It doesn't have to be fancy, just like that. Now, do you remember the strange mixture I made with rice and oil and sugar? Do you remember that? What I want you to do is take about a couple of tablespoons and I just want you to spread it out like that. Why am I using this? Okay, I guess I'm going to have to tell you. When my turkey legs were soaking, normally you could add liquid smoke if you want because I don't have a smoker. Not everybody's got a smoker in their backyard or in their house. So I could add liquid smoke to it, but I just don't like these things with liquid smoke. So what I'm doing is by creating this on the bottom, this will actually produce some smoke. It will bake, it will char a little bit, and it will produce smoke. And this will give us a little bit of the smoking taste into our turkey. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna put this in here, and then we're going to be adding, uh, every half an hour, I'm gonna add one more tablespoon to it until I reach the final cooking process. So, let's get back to this. Now, now grab yourself a grill. That goes with this, should come in a set. And, okay, here comes my turkey legs. Now I did rinse them and I patted them dry and we just put them there. Okay, we got them there. Now what I want you to do is take this mixture that we did with a little thing and I basically want you to paint them just like that. Now you're going to say, oh, but there's so much salt on that chicken stock. Well, you know something? There is. But to tell you the truth, as the turkey starts to uh, roast, what will happen is it will sweat and release most of it. And I want you to get it all over. So as this marinades and drops some of its fat down to the bottom, it will also produce more smoke. And I find that this works absolutely perfect because it brings out the natural taste of the turkey leg legs. Okay. Okay now, this is now going into an oven at 400 degrees for 20 minutes and a little bit more than halfway through I want you to turn them over. Be very careful the oven is hot. Then I want you to bring it down to 200 degrees for 45 minutes to one hour until it becomes nice and tender and roasted and absolutely delicious. So if you have a little problem following these directions on the video, please check my blog, which will be under See More, and you can click and go to my blog and I'll give you these instructions again, okay? So let's take it into the oven and I shall be back in about an hour and a half. It's time. Okay, here we go. Let's see how this turned out. And Take a look at that. Oh my god, does that ever look good? Take a look at that. Now, if you look down on the bottom, you can actually see that the rice has burnt and it created some smoke. So I did go back every now and then and I turned it. And at the same time, what I did was I added more rice to the bottom. You can see it's all burnt. Please use a foil because it's very hard to clean up later. And the smoke just risen up. So. Let's see how this turned out. So if we grab one of these here, like this. And I'm just saying here, like, you know, how does this thing look? It is absolutely awesome. I would just take a bite right now, but it is super hot and I'm kind of scared. So, all I can say now is that thank you very much for allowing me to present this indoor turkey legs, smoked style, to you. I hope you enjoy it. It's awesome for a party. Just put a little foil wrap around here and just give it to your guests 
and enjoy. So thank you again from Tony and Cooking Around. Goodbye now. Please do not forget to check out the blog where it says see more. Bye again.